Welcome to Curated by Laura Poe. Today, we're going to chat about a city with a rich culture and history, unique architecture, and a popular destination for travelers, Barcelona, Spain. Hi friends, I'm your host Laura Poe and I bring all the need to know details so you can make the most of your travels. I recently had the opportunity to visit Barcelona, Spain and sail Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady for French days and Ibiza nights. If you'd like to see highlights from that specific itinerary, click the video or follow the link in the description. If you've been in an airport this year, you know that travel is back. This has caused longer wait times, flight delays, and even cancellations. For those reasons, I recommend giving yourself at least one full day prior to your cruise departure or other scheduled event at your destination. You never want a flight delay to be the reason you miss even part of your voyage. So if you're planning to visit Barcelona and you only have a day to take in the sites, this private walking tour is a great way to experience the culture, architecture, and history. Our tour guide met us at Las Ramblas, a boulevard that captures the vibrant spirit of Barcelona. Prior to the 1400s, this area existed outside the walls of the city and served as a sort of market. The area is now a place where tourists can find cafes, street performers, and flower stands flanked by some of Barcelona's gorgeous theaters. While there are places to eat and shop, Las Ramblas tends to be overpriced and a little bit of a tourist trap. It's also a good idea to keep your belongings close to you. Like many cities, pickpockets use these crowded locations as an opportunity to strike. We made our way to a beautiful Gothic style home just off Las Ramblas, the Guel Palace, a hidden gem designed by the legendary architect, Anthony Gaudi. This private home was where Gaudi showcased his innovative style and artistic brilliance. Our guide pointed out details that reflected the spirit of the city, such as snakes and dragons. We walked down the old streets and made our way to the Basilica of Santa Maria del Pi. The first thing we noticed was a large cloth covering a circular stained glass rose window high above the Gothic arch of the front entrance. We were told this was to protect it from vandals who've thrown rocks at it over the years. Inside the church, however, the gorgeous multicolored window cast the sunlight throughout the church. Our next stop was the Cathedral of Barcelona, an impressive church that can easily be seen from the city's skyline. The facade had some pretty incredible detail, and the church is a great example of the city's religious and architectural heritage. When we got inside, we immediately noticed there were 13 geese living on the grounds. Our guide told us the specific number of geese relates to Saint Eulalia, who is commemorated throughout the church. We left the cathedral and quickly came to an architectural installation that's affectionately called the Kiss. The symbol of love and unity is made up of many small tiles of people expressing their love. Up close, it's easy to miss the bigger picture, but once you get the full view, it's hard not to appreciate. This area can get busy, but people were very nice about taking turns to get their kissing selfie in front of the wall. For all the best travel tips, make sure you hit subscribe with that notification bell on. As we made our way through Barcelona's historic center, we encountered an exciting Catalonian tradition, the Castlers. These human structures embody strength, teamwork, and cultural pride. We watched in awe as teams competed, climbing atop one another to create this amazing tower. Even though we had heard about this tradition, we never expected we'd get to see it up close. We also got to see a beautiful monument by artist Antony Lina, which pays tribute to these skilled performers. After a few hours of walking around and seeing many historical sites, our guide took us to the legendary cafe that was a favorite of some of Barcelona's most prominent modern artists, like Picasso and Gaudi. We enjoyed tapas and a light refreshment, all while soaking up the ambiance of this historic place that was featured in the Woody Allen film, Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Heading to our next stop, our guide showed us how Gaudi's art not only showed up in large-scale commissioned homes throughout Barcelona, but also in something as simple as a street light, which had a clever built-in seat warmer. We arrived to the block of Discord, which showcases the work of four of Barcelona's most important modern architects. Gaudi's Casa Baccio is one of the most famous residential creations with its curvy facade and vibrant mosaic details. Many say that of all of the homes on this block, Gaudi's is their favorite. It was finally time to grab some lunch at one of our guide's favorite tapas spots. Taller de Tapas, which means tapas workshop, was one of the first restaurants in Barcelona to specialize in gourmet tapas. 
If you're feeling adventurous, let your guide order for you. Literally everything they brought us was amazing. Pro tip, try to eat at places the locals enjoy and avoid areas that have more tourists. Hidden gyms may be a little off the beaten path, but trust me, every bite is worth it. Next, we arrived at Casa Mila, which really highlights Gaudi's freeform creative style. The building's facade flows like water and features the same kind of aesthetic inside. There's also a museum where you can learn about Gaudi's process and architectural philosophy. We jumped in a cab and took a short ride to Parkwell, a whimsical addition to Gaudi's portfolio. This location was intended to be a luxurious retirement community with an artistic flair. Gaudi helped design the grounds, which ultimately only had two homes, one of which was meant as a model. Gaudi eventually moved into the model home and lived there until his death in 1926. Unfortunately, due to a lack of interest, the project was never fully realized. Walking along the grounds made it feel like being transported into a fairy tale. The Hall of 100 Columns was intended to be the produce market of the community. The panoramic views of the city also featured our ship, the Valiant Lady. There was an area where tourists lined up to take photos on the mosaic snake bench, the longest bench in the world, which features Gaudi's signature mosaic style. We left the park and took a quick cab ride to the Jewel of Barcelona, Gaudi's Sagrada Familia. Included was an audio guided tour of the facility and skipped the line, so we headed through security and up to the front of the cathedral. When we stepped inside, we were shocked at the sheer size of the building, which is almost 560 feet tall. Like Gaudi's other work, the Sagrada Familia features unique design elements that played with the light, shape, and texture. The curves and tree-like design of the columns is a nod to the way nature does not have perfectly straight lines and angles. Gaudi started the project knowing he would not see it completed, but the Sagrada Familia is set to be complete in 2026, exactly 100 years after Gaudi's passing. The rear exterior features the Passion Facade with detailed highlights from the death and resurrection of Jesus. Our tour guide really geared our experience toward Gaudi's architectural work. The whimsy of Park Well, the details of Casa Baccio, Casa Mila, and the grand spectacle of the Sagrada Familia all left a lasting impression. Barcelona's heritage, culture, and awe-inspiring landmarks make it a must-see for travelers. If architecture or history isn't your thing, then a private tour may be the best way to curate the kind of experience you'd like to have. No matter what you choose to do, make sure you wear comfortable shoes and bring your sense of adventure. Spending the day in Barcelona before and after your Virgin Voyages cruise is highly recommended to ensure you make the most of your trip. You can follow the link in the description below to book this tour for the next time you are in Barcelona. If you've taken a walking tour in the past, I'd love to hear about your experience. Okay, so are you ready to book your next vacation? I've got some of the best deals and I would love to share them with you. Drop me a line at curatedbylaurapo.com.